I got something a little different here for you today. This goofball clapper rail. He seemed to be actually trying to catch an insect or something because it actually kept stretching out and throwing its head all over the place to try and capture something up there. I don't know. That's what it looked like anyway. But uh, let's start with the crop, kind of level it out, offset this a little bit. I shot it centered because it came out really quick. Didn't have time to recompose. And I'm a little light. Definitely overexposed it a little bit, so let's bring the blacks down, get that contrast back and popping. There we go. Um, kick the shadows up so I can maintain detail there. I'm just going to darken the foreground a little bit here. And then I definitely want to bring some more detail back into the sky, so a little bit darker on the exposure and the highlights. And that should do the trick. All right, into Photoshop. Okay, first things first. Let's do a retouch layer. And I don't like this red rock, but instead of actually cloning it out, I'm just going to try a blank layer on color blending mode. And there we go. We'll just paint it to match the color of everything else. So that was pretty straightforward. Um, not much else to clone on this. So actually, let me toss that retouch layer. And let's start working with some contrast and everything else. I'm going to try and just darken the background a little bit make everything a little richer. It's actually not bad on the bird, but it just got a little bit dark on the head, I would say, especially around the eye there. So just paint some of that out. Maybe the body's just a little bit dark. It's pretty subtle. I actually like a shot of contrast on the whole. Actually, that might look good on the whole thing. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good overall. Maybe a little bit much, so lower the opacity on that, and then I'll paint it out of the sky. It kind of brighten that up too much. Let's throw a burn layer on. Just darken this foreground a little bit here. I really don't like these real dark rocks there. And I don't think, let's try a dodge layer. I don't know if that's gonna do the trick enough. It's better, but you know, it'll probably just be easier to clone them out. So I guess I do need a clone layer. I'm just gonna sample somewhere over there, just a medium tone, kind of smooth out of focus area and then just soften that up. That's good. Let's throw a little bit more blue into the sky, a little more blue on cyan, paint that in up here, and then back to that burn layer. Let me actually just darken the sky in the middle there just a touch. That's good. Last thing, really want to pop the eye on this. So I'm going to do two separate things. First, I'll lighten the eye, make sure I don't hit the black. While I'm in here, I'm actually going to Lighten the bill as well. Just do a quick magic wand selection, invert it so I'm not painting on that green. And a little bit too heavy handed there, so we'll go a little bit more subtle, but there we go. Now the beak is really popping. And now I'm just going to throw another adjustment layer on and really red up that eye because it's got some great color to begin with. And I really want to draw the viewer's eye to that. The pupil in the eye could use being a little bit more black so we'll do another curves adjustment layer on that and I'm definitely just going to do on the bottom half there because I want to use I want to try and enhance this soft catch light over the top there we go right so that's going to help bring a little bit of life to that eyeball and it looks like I went too far overall here so let's see yeah this dodge layer is just a little bit too bright so just get a big soft brush and kind of slowly paint that back into reality and I think that's going to do it let's see um, I'm just going to view the entire before and after there's before after yeah that looks really good uh, last thing I noticed is this dark spot over there it's just kind of grabbed my attention so let's save that and get back to Lightroom and compare against the original okay here's the original I'll reset that Again, not a major edit here, but definitely a big significant difference. Colors are popping way more in the final. I mean, this original one was way washed out. Let's see. So I was just on full manual and not paying attention fully. So I overexposed it just a little bit. I mean, it's not horrible. Obviously, it came right back. No problem. But there we go. That's way better. And so there's the final on that one. Definitely a unique pose and a photo that I'm happy with. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.